I'm taking a break from my work and I want to show you guys a special spot over here that I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give this particular spot a name. I'm going to call this my prayer place. You heard me right, my prayer place. There's already a spot here for a hammock. And so I'm going to get me a hammock. I'm going to lay here or sit here. And I'm going to make this a place I can come and reflect and talk to God. I'm not going to become some kind of holy roller. Trust me on that one. And not like a wailing wall like in Jerusalem. Just a place I can come and sit and just count my blessings. Lester. Lester's prayer place. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm over here doing some work and I just overheard what you're saying. You just peed there. You just peed in your prayer Jamie? place. Jamie? Jamie? Okay, it hasn't become my prayer place yet because I, I just peed off that ridge. But it is going to become my prayer place and I'll start peeing over on that end over there. Good morning, folks. Lester here. It's uh, been 48 hours since Santana has had her calf and I've brought all the babies a little breakfast this morning and I know what you're probably wondering you're saying wait a minute Santana had her calf so where is it well that's a good question that's a real good question my friends and it brings me to a it helps me remember a moment about four years ago when Santana had her very first calf that was one we named Huey who was a um, yeah, how do I even say this? Santana had herself a girl's night out. One of those GNOs that you girls think are so fun and there's no harm. Girl's night out for Santana. And she comes back with the baby. And guess who was a daddy? It was Billy. Anyway, so I remember that Santana would like to, she would always hide Huey. And it made a fun challenge of me trying to find him. And that began to be kind of a game to her where I'd come down to feed every morning and I could not find that baby anywhere. And so I uh, remember one of the early videos I made. This is long before we were monetizing videos. <laughs> this is when I just made videos for fun. Now it's my job. But uh, I'm gonna play a snippet of that video or maybe I'll even put a link to it. You can watch the whole thing if you choose to. Playing hide and seek with Huey, I think is the title of that video. But I'm gonna go right now with you all and try to find this baby. Now, before I drive anywhere, I wanna scan around. I just wanna show you. I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna scan across this entire pasture. And if you think you could spot that baby, you let me know. All right, so I've done almost an entire 360 scan. That baby, that little guy is nowhere around here. You wanna know what's funny? Santana never hid Gracie and she never hid Pearl. What is it that makes them hide the bull calves? She would always hide Huey and now she's always hiding this new little guy. Let's try to go find him. Y'all come with me. Let's try to find this little guy. Beverly will be back. Now what I'm gonna do is keep an eye on Santana because she will point me in the direction. As a matter of fact, so see, she can see him, but I can't. If I get close, she's gonna come a running. These baby calves are so smart. It, maybe it's instinctive. They just can, they learn how to get down where mama tells them. And how to, oh, look at here. Look at here. I'm getting close. I want to find them before she does. Here she comes. She knows I'm close, and she does not want me anywhere near that little boy. You got to be real careful, folks. You got something you want to show me? I guess I went the right direction, huh? 
feels like I must have went in the right direction. If he is inside this tree line, he wouldn't be very far inside the tree. Oh my God. She's trying to side eye me. She's trying to side eye me to lead me astray. Wait, what's that? Well, would you look at that? <laughs> would you looky there? Boy, she has gotten him down into some thick, thick brush. And so she, okay, I'll leave. Look at the little guy. She goes, come on, dad's found you. I gotta hide you again. We're not gonna play this all day. That right there, that little munchkin is 48 hours old. Well, I don't know if that's how old he is, but it's 48 hours since he was discovered. I'll put it that way. She's like, come on, let me show you what breakfast looks like around here. He's like, yippee! And she's like, it's not as good as you think. <laughs> it's good, we give a good breakfast. Everybody's fat and healthy. I know a lot of y'all are probably saying something like, Lester, why do you got that baby out in them woods? You know there's coyotes running through there. Guys, I know. I'm sorry I talk like that when I imitate, quote unquote, y'all. I don't have any idea how you all sound. <laughs> I have no idea how you all sound, but in my mind, when I create a voice, that right there is the voice of y'all. Y'all wanna hear it again? Hey, let me zoom in. Look at that calf running around. So everyone's get the chance to kind of like babysit. Of course, Beverly is gonna be Beverly. Run him back to mama. Mama like, don't go too far. No, y'all, seriously, I know you're probably wondering why in the world would Lester let a calf out in these woods knowing that there's coyotes, a lot of coyotes lately. But listen, number one, mama needs these woods for her nutrition. This grass and all the things that she's getting over here is what she needs. There's no grain you can feed her that's going to supplement what she's getting from Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Number two, there is no way in hell, sorry if that offends you when I say that word, but there's no way in the world that any of those cows up there from, from Pearl, Moo, Santana, those donkeys are not going to let anything near that baby or each other. You know, it's kind of funny that they can, they can sometimes pick on each other. You know, cows and donkeys and horses can all be mean to each other, but that's kind of like it is with your little brother or your little sister. You can pick on them all you want to. You can pick on your little brother. You can pick on your little sister. You can make them cry, but if anyone else picks on them, man, you are ready to raise your fist and throw down. Santana's like, slow down, little boy. Slow down, you little munchkin. Stay, stay close to mama. And he's like, uh-uh, I'm my daddy's son. I am my daddy's son. I'll do what I do when I want to do it. <laughs> and she's like, oh God, what have I gotten myself into here? No, that's what she's saying. That's what she's saying. Oh, God, what have I gotten myself into here? We are about to drive over to Longhorn Lustres. Look at that wind we've been through here. And look at all this stuff we have in the back. I want to show y'all all of this. It's look important. At that. This is important stuff for Longhorn Lustres. Hey, I got a question to ask you. Oh, my God. I have vitamins in my mouth. You have vitamins in your mouth? Yes, it You don't like busting me. Okay, no one's going to look at your mouth. Oh. I got a quick question. Yeah, are. Quick question. Okay. Why do you think a mama cow is more likely to hide her male calves when she goes off to graze and eat, yet she never leaves her female calves, her daughter's side? She makes them go with her. Well, I would think it's just like humans, right? Like moms protect their daughters. Like they keep them close. Right? Dads protect their daughters too. True. Parents protect their daughters. How about yeah. that? Yeah. 
So you think it's kind of the same thing that I was saying is like that they're trying to like make the boys strong and independent, you think? No, I think that they're afraid that boys are going to get into mischief and trouble. Well, there's that. And it's true. <laughs> think about the calves that we've had. We've never seen Gracie or Pearl getting into, I'm going to air quote, mischief. That's true. But that little 48 year old, the 48 day old, that 48 wow. hour, sheesh, that little two day old calf over there, that little bull is into everything. And so I've noticed several times that mom will hide his little ass and walk away. <laughs> and so he, what it really is, is she's just, she is a seasoned mom is what you're saying. She's, she, this is not she her first rodeo. She can't keep up with him. Well, or it's not her first rodeo and she's like, eh, it's fine. Let him eat some dirt. It'll no, be okay. So no, I want you to think back though to four years ago with baby Huey. Remember hide and seek with Huey? You're right. You're so right. That's she would so hide right. Huey. Yo, she, she never hid Pearl. She never hid Gracie. They was with her or she was beside them all the time. You sure it's not like that she needs to teach the girls to be a lady? Oh, and like Jamie, stop humanizing these animals. <laughs> stop humanizing animals. Okay, Who so does that? What you're saying is we got a locksmith coming to change out all of the locks. So uh, it is officially ours. You know, even though you have uh, good people who are leaving here, you don't know how many spare keys are left behind here and there. And uh, since we're not going to be here all the time, it's just better safe than sorry to have a locksmith come by and change everything out. We have the cameras. We are getting a gate. But now we're going to also have all of the locks changed, just in case. Today, I... And working on something over here so the pond guys took down this piece of fence man I wish I would have known they were gonna do this and uh, they said they'll put it back up but as you can see uh, the pond is mostly done they have one guy here and I want this fence back up Deontay has come by and done all of the trim of uh, the stain on the fence uh, but all we're missing is this stretch of fence right through here and so, you know, Jamie and I came and did this over here last week. Today, I'm going to work on this over here and get it back up. And uh, go ahead and get it stained as soon as the weather clears. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I, uh, you know, we're blessed. We're so blessed that we don't have rocky soil. So most of the time, any kind of digging around here, we have to deal with roots. You know, tree roots on occasion. But dealing with rocks is crazy hard. I don't know how you folks do it. Now, what's going on right here is they've already spread some crushed concrete and it goes down about 12 inches thick and I am having a hell of a time here. And so I just wanted to say I admire you folks who have to do fencing where there's rocks in the soil. This is a shout out to you guys. I have actually never in my life used the word double whammy. That's what I call a double whammy. Where did it even come from? That's what I call a double whammy. And I'm like, double whammy? <laughs> 